Hi, Anthony here from the AV technical team here at AVI Global Distribution. And today we're going to be looking at some Axis products. We'll start with the Axis C6110 paging console, the Axis C8110 audio bridge, and the Axis C1410 network mini speaker. Let's take a look. The Axis network mini speaker features a built in microphone, PIR sensor, and LED light. The speaker is also PoE powered and this is located under the speaker cover. Next we have the Axis Audio Bridge which can be powered by a PoE or alternatively a DC power supply. On one side you will see an SD card slot for internal memory storage and on the opposite side you will see some configurable I.O. ports for physical triggers. You will also find RCA Phono outputs as well as a 3.5mm jack input. As you can see here, we're using a physical switch on the I.O. ports, which will be explained later. Next, we have the Axis Paging Console. As you can see, there are 12 configurable buttons with an LCD display, a push to talk button, volume switches for the inbuilt speaker, as well as the inbuilt paging mic. You also have the option of a QSnet microphone, which can be added by removing the speaker cover. To set up your Axis products, you first need to head to your default browser. Axis recommends that you use Firefox, Microsoft Edge or Chrome. As you can see, the username for the network mini speaker is set to root. This is the same for the audio bridge. We would also recommend when setting up your paging console that this is the same. We are also going to go ahead and set up the password for all three devices are the same for the purpose of this training video. Make sure you agree to the terms and conditions before creating your account. Once you've logged in, the first thing we're going to do is click Locate Device. This will play out a pre-recorded message to let you know which speaker you are accessing. As you can see there on the right hand side, the device has been officially located. Next, we're going to head to our network settings and make sure that we've got our IP address set in the right range for the site. We'll do this on the audio bridge and page mic too. Once you have set up your network settings, the next thing to do is go to time and location. As you can see, we are using DHCP for our NTP server here, but you can also put in your own if required. This is located in the same place on the network mini speaker and the audio bridge. Once the basic settings of each device have been configured, we will now head to Access Audio Manager Edge to manage our project. Edge is used to manage projects from small to medium size, and what you'll need to do is enter your site name, we will use the ADI office as an example and agree to the terms and conditions and then click create. Once your site has been created, you'll see a dashboard similar to this. As you can see in the health monitoring section, our device is online. First thing to do is to set up your physical zone. We will use the ADI tech lab as an example again and name this ADI tech. Once that has been created, you'll need to add the devices to that zone. Click on add at the top and add the two devices that you can see here. You'll need to input the password you created when you first set up the device. As you can see, the username is already filled in with root. Once your physical zone has been set up, you now need to set up your paging zones. So on the left hand side, head to paging zones and click create at the top. Again, we will use the ADI Tech Lab as an example. Once this has been created, you need to add your physical zones and devices to it. As you can see, our ADI Tech Zone that we created is there and we'll also add the mini speaker and network audio bridge. 
Now, set up your paging source. Go to Paging Sources and click Create. For this example, we're going to use a Vapix Media Clip. This is because we're going to use our audio bridge to simulate a triggered message using a switch and the I.O. ports. Name your device and click Add. The first thing to do is to select your intermediary device. Since we are using the audio bridge, make sure you select this. Next, add your paging zones, physical zones and devices. For this example, we're going to add all the zones we created as well as the devices. Another feature of Axis Audio Manager Edge is the ability to schedule announcements, advertisements and music, as well as setting opening hours, which is really useful for retail situations. To set up schedule announcements, go to Announcements and Physical Zones. Here, select any physical zone that you've created, and you now have the ability to either edit an existing schedule or create a new one. For this video, we're going to edit an existing one. As you can see, we have an Open the Door MP3 set to play on Monday. To add another clip to the next day, we'll click on Create, select the MP3, select your time and date, and click Save. As previously mentioned, we're using our audio bridge to trigger a message. So head back to the IP address of the audio bridge, go to System and click on Events. Next, you need to click on Add a Rule. Firstly, name your rule. As we're using a trigger, we'll use Input Trigger as the title. Now you need to select your condition. This one, scroll down and you'll find Digital Input is Active. Next, you need to select an action. As we have a pre-saved message, we need to select play audio clip while the rule is active. And we'll use the pre-saved clip here. This will then play the media clip while the switch is active and will stop when the switch is deactivated. Abracadabra, 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 Abra... Another feature of the Axis Network Mini Speaker is the ability to configure the external LED on the device. Head back to the device settings of the network mini speaker, click on light and go to profiles. Here you can create your own profiles depending on different speed, intensity and blink pattern. You also have the option to choose the colour that the light alternates between. Next we will assign that light profile to an event. Head to system and events and add a rule. We'll use ADI Tech as an example what we'll do here is select the condition as PIR sensor. This is an inbuilt PIR sensor in the LED light. Next, click action and select light profile while the rule is active. And select the profile you previously created. We're now going to set up our network paging console. Head back to the IP address of the paging console, head to communication and contact list. Here, click on add contact and we're going to target our network mini speaker. So make sure device is selected, name, location, and then select Vapix paging for this example. Now enter the IP address, username and password of the network mini speaker. Once that has been created, head to the display tab and click on configuration. As you can see, there are 12 configurable buttons as well as the ability to add more pages. Click on button one and you'll see this page. As we're going to create a paging announcement, we we'll use an action button type as well as the create a new action button. Now select page contact, label this button Select your device, and for this example, we're going to use a pre-chime and post-chime announcement. Once everything has been configured, you can head back to your paging console and perform a test announcement. Anthony, please come to Anthony, the please come to reception.
With the Axis Paging Console, you also have the ability to play pre-recorded messages. Patient assistance is needed. A staff member has been notified. If you'd like to know more information about any of the products featured in today's video, then get in contact with your local branch or account manager.